defending Vajit champion Vajit Michael Vajit Smith, the winner of the International Vajit. Darts Open here in Risa last year. A man who has won three European Tour titles. Only Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor have won more than that. And it could well have just been Michael Van Gerwen because when Taylor won his fourth one in Austria, it was Michael Smith he beat in the final and he wasn't too far behind the power in that encounter. Looking to begin the defence of his title against a former BDO number one, James Wilson, the Jammy Dodger. A man who has tried to explain his nickname to Elmar Polka, our German MC. Didn't really understand, they don't have Jammy Dodgers over here. Is it, is it a biscuit? What, uh, don't, what? It's all a bit awkward. We've moved on from that though. And Jamie Wilson's playing some very good darts at the minute. Having the time of his life on stage. Certainly a happy man on his walk-on as he steps up to take on the defending champion. I'm Dan Dawson. Paul Nicholson sat alongside me. And, we, I mean, we've got potentially a load of great games tonight. This could easily be another cracker. Yeah, it's a bit of a slippery slope, this, because <laughs> James Wilson has been playing very, very well recently. And Michael Smith, there's a couple of things not going in his way. I, I, he hasn't won a tournament this year. Mm. And he's got a bit of sunburn on his arm. <laughs> Because uh, he was fishing in Portugal last week. He says Thank that his gentlemen. shirt isn't the first most comfortable is Michael to throw as it should be. Game on. But as we've seen on the walk on, Jamie Dodger really is full of confidence and full of happiness in his life. And that's good to see. Well, you know, and, and so he should be. He made back-to-back -back semi-finals on the Pro Tour last month in Barnsley. 60. He hadn't made a semi-final of a Pro Tour before. And then you wait ages and then two come along within two days. There's no doubting his ability. He really is a very, very good player. You don't get the world number one in the BDO without being a good player. 95. His throw looks good. I mean, his throws always look good. Isn't, it just seems so simple. He just looks at the dart, looks at the board, and chucks it in a straight line. 55. You should put that in a book. Wow. It'd be a pretty short book, though. Yeah, it would be a short book, but it'd be a very handy one. It's like my brother's uh, philosophy on golf. Ball, stick, pull. Wow. Dart, board, hit. 100. It's a simple philosophy, but it's a very effective one. Well, the only people that overcomplicate life and sport are human beings. 90. And when you have people like Chisnell, James Wilson, and Michael Smith, to be fair, they simplify things and do it very, very well. Yeah, I mean, look, Michael Smith, you know, the, one of the... the things that has held him back in the past 92. has been his temperament when he has let things get on top of him he's got angry with himself he's got annoyed with what's going on we saw glimpses of that in austria and he, he still made the final he was very lucky to make the final in my opinion he, he came up against a number of a couple of players who had real good opportunities to beat mark frost was one of them i think nigel hayden might have come close to beating him um but he, he was th that petulance the old petulance came back but that is a great setup shot from james wilson to leave double top after 12 darts and he could be about to steal the first leg although that's not a bad set looked like a maximum james you require four last dart rejected by the board and double top for wilson for a one nil lead one nil lead it could be that's a lovely guide should just bang it off the bottom of that one well no guide for double ten now Ooh, 20. Oh, he scared it. Michael, you require well, That's 76. 60 on the floor from the previous visit of Michael Smith. Will that be costly? Because he might only get one shot at a double. Will only get one shot at a double. And that double is double four. Game shot. And he hits thing. double four. Michael Smith. Why Second worry? Second James to throw first. Game up. I've got to say something about Michael Smith because we were speaking just before we came on here about he doesn't smile enough. He didn't smile a lot. No, Not on the board, anyway. It's business time up there with Michael Smith. Well, even when he, when he beat Michael Van Gerwen in the final of a European Tour event, I just didn't see that joy. You know, he's got to be, you know, showing us a little bit more of when he beat Phil Taylor in Nine the World five. Championships, jumping up and down. That's what we want to see from Michael. Get a bit bubbly. You know you can stay within yourself when you're playing, but I want to see some real joy from Michael Smith because I think that's what he needs from his season. It's, it's an interesting one. 134. Michael Smith, and I've, I've said this, Ray, I think he can achieve anything in the game. I think his talent is absolutely phenomenal. And 
his the high ceiling of his performance when he's playing at his absolute best. He's one of these guys who's thrown 130 average on the Pro Tour. Admittedly over there? six, seven legs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he can do 11 data, 12 data, 11 data, 13, 11. That's what he can do. And we've seen it. He's beaten Michael Van Gerwen in finals of these twice. I mean, that is... Nobody else has done that. What also beat there? Benito van der Pass in the final here last year. And I think that he believes that he can be a world champion and a world champion more than once 56. and win many major tournaments and he wants it right now and it kind of overshadows all the amazing things he's done three euro tour wins various other titles i mean he's what he's had he had five youth tour titles three pro tour wins three euro tour wins world youth 171. champion and he thinks this is great but i want more and he's always demanding more of himself and that is a good trait to have but you've got to enjoy it while you're doing it as well 140. well put James Rick well 36. Now, the second leg in a row, James Wilson is on a double after 12 darts. That's pretty ominous. Game shot on the second leg. He James is Wilson. going to give Michael Smith a Third game here. Michael to throw Don't first. you ever question game that. Yeah, another great setup shot there from James Wilson. Instead of messing around on the doubles as he did last time, this time he takes it out 42. first dart. And he is going to take the game to Michael Smith. They have met a couple of times before. It's one win apiece. Michael Smith won it 6-4 in Munich earlier this year on the European Tour. 140. James Wilson did beat him 6-2 in Crawley both this year. So, look, their, their, their meetings are both recent. That's another one that's been spat out of the board. And you saw 79. Michael Smith at the back of the stage just a little bit earlier on, just sharpening his points. We have seen him have problems in the past with darts not sticking in the board. I remember, I think it was in Leipzig uh, a year or two ago, where he, ha he had a game against Andy Hamilton, he somehow managed to win it, despite it, it was literally, he'd have a dart out of every six fall out of the board. There were hundreds of points all over the floor. And sometimes you just got to hit them clean. And the thing what with Michael's, Michael's darts, I mean, they were lovely, going in nice and clean, no wobbling whatsoever, but he uses a rather thick point. And when they're bashing against each other and they spin together like they do with his throw, you are going to have darts on the floor. It's the mm. same with Dave Chisnell. It's the same with other guys. 100. But you don't see that from James Wilson. They really thud in there. And it's a totally different style. Yeah, they, they, it's subtle differences in throws. And this one's very difficult to pick up on the camera sometimes. But it's, it's just through, you know, you watch them practice for half an hour, an hour at a time. And you'll see that some players have more bounce outs than others. It makes you think, though, with the way that Michael Smith starts to fall up now and again. Would he benefit from having a point like Kyle Anderson's with a little bit of groove at the end? Mm. And it might just stick in. 65. 65 Kendrick gets 81. him down to 96. But once again, Wilson, after four visits to the board, has got a finish of under 100 to take out. And this would be key moment here. 16 he looks at. Centre of the board. There it is! It's a bullseye finish James for 81, Wilson. and James Wilson gets a break well, of throw to go 2 to one first. up. He's looking pretty dangerous. Michael Smith is going to win this game. He's going to have to go up a gear and not spill his water. <laughs> He's actually overflowed his glass in the background. Oh, we've got another Watergate scandal, <laughs> just like Michael Van Gerwen. And 60. Raymond Van Barneville back in Australia. Well, look at that. That, those averages of Michael Smith are not great at all. And the first nine is abysmal by Michael Smith's huge standards. But that, 92 for the first nine for James Wilson. And 100.6 overall. And that is primarily down to he set the shots up excellently. That fourth visit to the board is consistently hitting a big score to leave himself well placed. Yeah, he's already had a 171 and a 174 to prove that point. And that'll do all right for your first nine average. That'll want that up a bit. And there it is. Uh, make no mistake, Michael Smith is in trouble here because James Wilson is not the kind of player to look back. Michael Smith has not got a banana skin here, but I can't think that slipping on a jammy dodger is any picnic either. 60. That's about as much as he's given you at the moment, James Wilson. He's only made... Oh, hang on. 139. Not bad at all. Sensational mathematics from Michael Smith. That's modern counting at its best. That's saying two treble 19s, 
A single 20 or a single 19 does not leave me a finish. I go for the ball of the 25 and I've got 170. But he might have to hit this. Because James Wilson has hit another 170 plus shot to leave a double after 12 dots. That fourth visit to the board is absolutely killer for James Wilson in this match. He's done it three times now. And look at this. Double 12 for a 3-1 lead and a bit of daylight here. Double six. James there you go. The leg. James, James Wilson. Wilson. Well, look. Matt Dots in that first leg first. as well. I mean, he could conceivably be 4-0 up here, James Wilson, against the defending champion. Yeah, the defending champion. Could be going home if he doesn't find another gear. And there you see, 104 overall average. Three 171 plus scores and a 180 for James Wilson. Smith yet to register a three treble visit. And how about that? You don't get many better looking 180s than that. Got to say it, it's taken James Wilson a little bit of time to get settled in the PDC system, but now I think he might have found his comfort zone. You know, different, different players settle down at in different rates, and some never do. You know, I mean, Stuart Kellett was a guy who was right up there in the BD, BDO rank. I can't remember if he was number one or number two, but he was number two. Now, he came over and it never really worked for him. He did make a European Tour final. 58. He just couldn't quite figure it out. James Wilson, when he first came over, he wasn't doing anything. I mean, he, you know, he, he would see he had talent. But it's about results. It's a results game. That's how you earn a living being a professional dark player. But back-to-back semi-finals. Michael Ewan Barnsley 164. just a month ago. He's averaging 107 at the minute against the defending champion. But this could change things. Oh, well, he didn't need to go the route because he's on a, a bogey number, the 163. And it's uh, Michael Smith's time to put in a very good fourth visit of the leg to set up a finish. And it's a like, well, it's going to be a hold if he hits that double 12, but not again. 131. Michael Ewick, 24. I don't even think Kirk Bevins could believe it. We can Jay believe that double 12. Leg. Michael Smith. 131 was academic. Smith James to throw first. Game James on. Wilson still has that break of throw, which could be vital. Let's see what his fourth visit is like in this leg. Oh, absolutely phenomenal stuff. I mean, it, fair play to Michael Smith because he's sticking with him. There's only one leg in it. 82. And that is a breakdown. But the man is averaging 106 and change. And... Michael Smith is right there. He's got to find 57. a little burst from somewhere, though, or hope that Wilson comes off the boil entirely. Because There's if he carries on playing like this, I, I only see one winner. There's not many players can live with that kind of average. I know Peter Wright can, Phil Taylor, Anderson. Michael Smith is in that group because he 100. has that kind of game. Mm. And as we've seen, you know, somebody can average 115, you still beat them. I mean, Corey Cadby beat Phil Taylor who was averaging 111 in the World Series not very long ago he averaged 103 himself but you've got a you know right shot right time and hit your doubles well case in point is average 103 and win average 109 and lose well quite <laughs> which is what happened to Corey Cadby in the very next game and not only lose, lose 10-2 yeah Imagine welcome it. to the big time Corey 109 average and he lose 10-2 what is what going on eight? Now then, Michael Smith. Has right. he just woken up a little bit? Fourth visit, City. Oh, he's let us down. Mm. But on? what will he leave? Well, could be a 1-3-4. That's not too shabby. 84. Well, a rare lapse on visit number four, but he has left 1-3-5, which is gettable. It'll yeah. start on the bullseye. It's a good miss, mm. because if you're going to leave something 130 plus, you want 1-3-2 or 1-3-5. That gives him get getting clauses. His ghetto clause here is the fact that Michael Smith has left a bogey number. Mm. So he doesn't have to go bullseye. But he's gone there anyway, and it's actually bounced out. And he stayed there. Now, I don't understand that. If nope. you're going to go there with the first 69. dart, I get that. But I don't know why you would go there with the second dart if it's bounced out. Yeah, not really up on that one. But this could be under lots of pressure. Mm, staying what up there. Hundred. We're going to leave the Edgerick double 11. 66. Fair enough. 66. Now, various ways you can go with this. Some players will go for the ball. I wouldn't go for the ball again after what happened last time. Yeah, trouble 10 seems wise. Double, double 18. 18. Game shot on the sick leg. James Wilson. Oh, yeah, good memories of double 18 earlier in the match. He's got even better ones now because that gives him a two-leg cushion again. 
Oh. Still averaging 103. Michael Smith has got to turn it on, and is he turning it on? That's a second maximum for the bully boy. Well, he needs more of that if he's going to get back into this match. I'll tell you what, James Wilson staying with him most of the time. 140. He doesn't look uncomfortable with this situation. I think that's the most important thing. He is enjoying the battle. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is it happening? Is it happening? Michael Smith has just thrown his third 180 in a leg and a half. And more importantly, he's gone back to back maximums at the start of this leg. He is on the nine data. 141 points stand between the bully boy, the defending champion, Michael and perfection. 141. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael Smith. Oh, unbelievable. The weight goes on. Michael Smith misses double 12 for the nine data. The good news for Michael Smith is that James Wilson is on 221 and he's coming back for double 12 to close out the leg. That's the most important thing right now. He's got to win this leg and take the momentum of this leg into the next couple. 41. Well, I understand Ted 24. Evans on the development tour wide double 12 for a nine dart this afternoon as well. Michael Smith Game show on the seven hits leg. double six Michael for an Smith. 11 and that will do and to close the gap. But James first. Wilson is still in charge of this game and it is going to take more of that kind of stuff from Michael Smith to overhaul the man from Huddersfield because he's been playing at a superb level 140. throughout this game. He's still averaging more than 103. That nine dart attempt from Michael Smith has dragged his average up to 97 and he's in there again and 140. so close. I did say he had to go up a gear. This is top-notch gear. This is Lamborghini stuff. Well, this is, this is what is so exciting about Michael Smith. This is what he can do and he can do it leg after leg after leg. 57. You have to say that he's a human being. He's not going to do this all the time. And we just want to see him do it all the time. We're just... We're just big fans of the game. Big fans of big scores. Big fans of nine daughters, but we don't see too many of those in oh, the European for, tour. Forgotten what one looks like. <laughs> Ross Smith in Gibraltar 2013. Michael Van Gogh in this two in a day in Dusseldorf. 100. Yeah, I don't know how the commentary table survives. Uh, right. But Michael Smith is doing everything right right now. Oh, had to go 18s to leave the 164. He wanted more than that. He wanted to be sitting on at least 121, 81, something like that. But is he in? may have to take that out to get the 4-4 because <laughs> James Wilson... 174. He's done it again. Michael, you a 174, a three treble visit. I don't know why he's gone for the treble 18 there. It's left double 15. Michael Smith is 94. only going to set this up to a degree. 30. I think the flight was covering the 60 completely. So what he's done is, you know what? I like double 15. I'll leave it. Well, that's not close. That's closer. He's got to go over the top of it. And it's bounced no out. Score. That is a brutal moment for Michael James Yuguaya, Wilson. 70. 5-3 was right there. He probably thought he had it when he let go of the dart. Michael Smith is looking at tops for four apiece. Game and there it is. Leg. And that Michael is the Smith. dart of a champion. That Nine was superb Michael from, from Michael first. Smith. He needed a bit of luck, but he made the most of it. Well, that's someone who doesn't want to let go of this title. Game on. He was down 4-2 against an opponent that really had him on the chopping block. I tell you what, Michael Smith, that was class. Well, once again, James Wilson put in an incredible fourth visit in that leg, and it looked as if it was going to help drag him within striking distance of the next round. But all of a sudden, the defending champion, Michael Smith, is probably the favourite again. He has the throw in two of the last three legs in this game. One hundred and four. A of brutal bounce-outs and doubles the last couple of days. That one there was very, very harsh. And the one last night for Devin Peterson. He wanted that to get out of the ball. It really is just, you know, you, you see darts bounce out the board all the time, and most of them, most of them don't really matter that much. They can be annoying, they can cost you 60 points or 57, and, you know, at the start of a leg, you can make up for that. But right then, 
that could be a game-changing bounce out. It looks like he caught the flight himself, and you, know, you can say, well, it's his own fault for missing with the second door, oh, making it hard for himself. But, you know, sometimes you just need a bit of luck. When you take him on to defending champion, a man who well, hasn't been beaten in the east of Germany, always wins when he comes here. Well, James Wilson is trying to put pressure on this 1-6-1. 100! And they're doing exactly Michael the same Rickland, as each other in this leg. Will he get a shot at it? Will James Wilson get a shot at it? Will he? Yes, he will. 36. What an effort from Bully Boy. James, you require 161. Can Jamie Dodger go one better? Well, he's been quite good in these fourth visits, but he's not really done much of the doubling. And he can't find the trebles he needs. So Michael Smith will come back, and I think he'll go five for double ten. He loves double ten, the defending champion. 60. Michael, you require 25. Is that the route? It is the route. Double five. This is the problem. If you go five, double ten, you might have problems with that 20. original dart. James, you require Well, James Wilson now is thinking, why didn't I score more on the last visit? Give myself a better opportunity. He only got 60, so now 101 Dalmatians. He's got 60 of them. It's going to be a nine for double 60, and that nine's right in the middle. Where's the double taking his time? This is to break. Huge moment in this match. Oh, oh, a shot. James Wilson has wrestled this James leg back from first. Michael Smith. Game on. 101 checkout, and it could well be a game changer. 5-4, Wilson throwing to knock the defending champion out of the Happy Bet International Darts Open here in Risa. This is a man's game of darts. This is not a kid's game. This is a brutal game of darts. And I'm loving watching it, Dan Dawson. What a game of darts we have. 98 average for Michael Smith. 100 and, well, 100-ish. There you go, 101 nearly. 140. But there's a ton 40 for Michael Smith. And if he can, he's already, you know, he's 80 points ahead here. If he can get a breaker throw, a third consecutive breaker throw in this match, then Michael Smith will be the favourite again. This has gone one way and then the other, but here comes Wilson. 140. Wilson looks like he could do this all day. He looks cool, calm, ready for it. Mind you, look at Michael Smith. He looks pretty 57. fresh as well. But a little bit of exasperation from Smith. As if to say, I just can't get rid of you, can I? Well, I'm told that Michael Smith, young lad, junior, Michael 60. Junior, watches this at home and he copies what us idiot commentators say. He basically just copies what all the other... What with the darts players' names as they're shouting them out as they're pulling out incredible 60. scores. <laughs> the last thing Michael Smith will want to do is go back home to St. Helens if he loses to James Wilson here and his little lad is shouting, James Wilson, James Wilson, repeatedly. Well, I guarantee you there won't be any jammy dodgers in the shot bag on Monday. <laughs> 43. Ooh, just a 43. He doesn't get down to a finish. Michael Smith, something big here. Doesn't need much of a sniff. <sighs> to get himself in there, and he's doing it. That'll do, that'll do nicely. It's not fourth visit, it's fifth visit. What's he gonna leave? It's gonna be something below 120. It's gonna be it. a really good Michael chance if Michael Smith can't hit this 104. Needed the treble, doesn't get it. 44. Wilson will get James darts for knock out 60. the defending champion. 20 for double top. He's taking his time. He probably thought having five visits might be enough. He needs more. He's got two darts in hand for the match. And Game he's shot. got the match. And the defending champion, Jesus. Michael Smith, the fifth seed, is saying goodbye to East Germany for the first time as a person who's lost the match. Really well played for Michael Smith, but Jamie Dodger, that confidence exudes and continues. It certainly does, and James Wilson, what a display from him. 6-4, we nearly saw perfection from Michael Smith, missing double 12 for the nine data. That's but he goes home to St. Helens, he will not defend his international darts open title. We will have a new name on the trophy here Michael in Risa Smith. this weekend. It will not be Michael Smith. Michael Van Gerwen is not going to win it either. Who is? Is it going to be one of the guys we're seeing up next? As Jermaine Watamina takes on Dave Chisnell, a man who's already made two European finals this year. But well played, James Wilson. That was stunning.
Yeah, defending champion. I knew I had to do it today. We've played a few times with Michael, and it's always been close. Today was my day, unfortunately for him. <laughs> it was very intensive, the, the whole match. Yeah, very, very tense. I mean, scoring-wise, we were both hitting him and finishing, you know, that 101. That, I think that kind of crunched it for me, and that it was a good finish. But Michael Smith, you've got to give it to him. One of the best players in the world, and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> James, you, you came to the PDC last year. Where are you right now? So you're number 55 in the world. What is your plan for the next six months? What are your goals in the next year? Just keep climbing. Just keep playing, keep climbing. You know, there's, there's an old saying in Yorkshire, slowly, slowly catching monkeys. And I'm slowly climbing and catching them. Great. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. James Wilson.